Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is September 13th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I am going to talk about another hurricane, this one, Super Typhoon Mank Hoot, which is now rapidly approaching the coast of the Northern Philippines, setting a beeline for a region that's populated by about 10 million people and is a major uh, food producer for the Philippines. This graphic provided by NOAA, in, in this graphic you can see the coastal region of the Philippines in the left hand side of the frame with the very strong and rather terrifying looking to me at least in the satellite representation circulation of a super typhoon. It's worth noting that sections of the Philippines are already getting lashed by the outer bands of this storm, and this has been the case for about a day now. Unfortunately, the model guidance is now shifting the track of the storm a bit to the south, looking, and it's looking like there will be a landfall for this storm over the next couple of days. Switching to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center guidance, it's looking like there is a predicted landfall for Mankut on somewhere sometime between the 14th and 15th of September as the storm tracks closer and closer to the Philippine island chain. This is a bit further to the south than the last guidance which had Mankhut just raking the northern section of the northern island of the Philippines. This brings the track about 30 to 40 miles to the south for a, a direct landfall on the northern portion of the island. It's a very dangerous situation, reminiscent of the strike made by ty Super Typhoon Haiyan. It's worth noting that the present strength of Mankhut is is, is extreme and somewhat comparable to that of Haiyan. The minimum central pressure is 907 millibars, is about 10 or 15 millibars higher than that of Haiyan. Maximum sustained winds around 165 miles per hour with gusts of up to 200 miles per hour. So a, a very, very dangerous system that is now bearing down on the Philippines. It's worth noting that like many of the storms that are presently ongoing in the northern hemisphere, Mankhut is feeding on warmer than normal sea surface temperatures and higher than normal atmospheric water vapor loading. These conditions set in play by human-caused climate change to large respect which is overall warming the Earth's oceans and providing more atmospheric fuel for storms in the form of increased water vapor loading. Mankhut is tearing through this section of the Western Pacific on a beeline toward the Philippine coast. All interests in the Northern Philippines and in the Philippines in general should remain alert to this very dangerous condition and, and should get out of the way if evacuation orders are issued. I'm sure the memory of the terrible strike of Super Typhoon Haiyan is still in the minds of, of people in this region. And unfortunately, it looks like, based on the present forecast, there is a, is a probability and, and what looks like an increasing likelihood of, of a similar strike in just the next couple of days. So something to certainly remain alert to. This is a very, again, this is a very dangerous situation. Thank you for joining me and I'll be chatting with you soon.